The gear ratio formula for a simple gear drive is simple and intuitive, while the formula for the gear ratio of a planetary mechanism is not. In this tutorial, we will show you an original and easy to understand approach to deriving this formula. First, let's go over a few basic facts about meshing gears. A gear is fully defined by as few as two parameters, the number of teeth, and a number, called module, which is a unit of size that determines how big or small the gear is. The gear's diameter is simply the number of teeth times the module. For two gears to mesh, they must have the same module. Since the module is the gear's diameter divided by its number of teeth, the following is true. Therefore, the ratio of the number of teeth equals the ratio of the diameters. And since the diameter is 2 times radius, it also equals the ratio of the radii. Let's now look at the planetary mechanism. There are four components. The center gear is called the sun gear. The outer gear with its teeth pointing inwards is called the ring gear. The gears meshing with the sun and ring gears are called planet gears. The spinning platform on which the planet gears are mounted is called the carrier. From this diagram, it is clear that the sun, planet and ring gear radii must satisfy the following equation. For reasons soon to be revealed, we will rewrite this equation as follows. One last important equation we need to review is the one connecting linear velocity and angular velocity. For an object moving in a circle with a fixed radius, its linear velocity equals its angular velocity times the radius of the circle. Let's go back to gear ratios, the object of this tutorial. For a simple two-gear mechanism, the gear ratio is the ratio of the number of teeth of the larger gear to the number of teeth of the smaller gear. This comes from the linear versus angular velocity formula we just discussed. The instantaneous velocity of the point of contact of two meshing gears is the same for both gears. If it weren't, one gear would slip relative to the other, and the gear teeth prevent that from happening. Since the linear velocities are the same, the angular velocities times the radii are also the same. Since the gear ratio is the ratio of one angular velocity to the other, it equals the ratio of the second radius to the first, or the second number of teeth to the first. What about the planetary mechanism? In the most common scenario, the input shaft is connected to the sun gear, and the output shaft to the carrier. The gear ratio for the planetary mechanism is, therefore, the angular velocity of the sun gear, to that of the carrier. To compute it, let's consider a school-level physics problem. A wheel rolls without slippage. The linear velocity of the wheel center is v. What is the instantaneous velocity of the top point of the wheel? It turns out, that velocity is simply 2 times v. That is because the rolling can be viewed as an instantaneous rotation around the point where the wheel touches the ground. Since the top point of the wheel is twice as far from that point than the wheel center, the linear velocity is also twice as great. This applies not only to a wheel that rolls along a straight line, but also to a wheel rolling inside a circle, just like a planet gear in the planetary mechanism. We now have all the pieces in place to derive our gear ratio. We need to find the ratio of the angular velocity of the sun, to that of the carrier. The linear velocity of the carrier is in the angular velocity of the carrier times its distance from the center. The instantaneous linear velocity of the point of contact between the planet and sun is the angular velocity of the sun times its radius. And according to the physics problem we just discussed, this also equals 2 times the linear velocity of the carrier. This gives us this equation. 
the gear ratio is omega s divided by omega c. According to the formula we arrived at earlier, the 2 times rp term can be replaced with rr minus rs, which can be simplified to. Since the radii are proportional to the number of teeth, this can be rewritten as. In our example, zr is 60 and zs is 12. So the gear ratio is 6. And that concludes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.